This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Experissa. Well, this morning we're talking about wood and also design. A good piece of furniture can last you a lifetime. If you've ever wondered how these well-made pieces are designed, then this next conversation is for you. Well, we got to visit the workshop and also meet the designer, uh, James Munch. Well, he tells us more about his sustainable philosophy uh, around furniture and also gives some advice about wood and the creativity of it to some aspiring designers. I'm James Mudge. I design and make furniture. I started learning to make furniture from a very young age. My parents had a furniture factory in Neisner um, where they made furniture using the indigenous hardwoods of the area. So it was a very traditional style cabinet making but with all the best techniques and that's actually where I learned how to make furniture. And then that was supplemented by my studying architecture, which gave me the design element, um, which I've sort of pulled through into my current work. We're a very small team, um, and everyone is sort of hand-picked and hand-selected and has a lot of experience working with solid wood. Our studio is also very small, and we're based in the center of Cape Town. So we kind of cram ourselves into this very tiny space, and we have to be very efficient as a result of it. And we found that by planning things nicely and having things working on a good routine, we can sort of deliver stuff on the day that it's finished and you know minimize on storage and, the, and those kind of things. And I encourage everyone to do all the different things. So someone isn't just chiseling away at something all day long. They're actually doing many different jobs and I think that's why people like working here. So the process in a nutshell, <laughs> is uh, we select the wood. It's quite difficult, but uh, with a trained eye, you can do it fairly quickly. Then we uh, machine it, clean it so that it's straight and smooth, we'll then start selecting components, legs, etc. Then we cut the joints, and this we take special care with to get them perfect because it, it means everything in a piece of furniture. It means that it'll be strong, that it'll last long, that it will enable you to have fine detailing uh, and make the piece of furniture light and beautiful. Then we move on to gluing it. We avoid using nails or screws or anything like that. It's not really necessary. Then it goes to finishing where it's hand finished and then oiled and varnished. And then it gets inspected and off it goes. From a sustainability point of view, we use only uh, FSC certified timbers. It's really good wood, it's strong, it's durable, it lasts forever. That actually goes hand in hand with my design philosophy, which is to make my pieces last forever, keep it as basic as possible, so that hopefully it'll be able to be used through all the different fashions of the time and be as timeless as possible. My favorite product is Log. It's a very simple piece. It's really difficult to make. It looks like a log at the end, but then doors fall down and there's a whole hollowed out inside. It's really challenging and I love it. People often ask me what advice I would give to aspiring local designers. The best thing to do is just to do it. Just get out there, do it, start making things, do it in your garage, get a saw, start cutting up wood, like just get into it and look online and learn like inspirations everywhere.